Hello everyone, and welcome back to Space Engineers. I'm your host Val Death, and we're here to continue on our tutorial series. Next up, tutorial for oxygen. Carries covers the various oxygen related blocks, oxygen farms, generators, vents, bottles, tanks, and ice, including their control panel functions. The concept of creating an airtight room for pressurization pressurization is also addressed. So it's very cool, very, very realistic. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, here we are, ready to start. I watched that video, um, I'll put a link to it down in the uh, description below, uh, if I can find it again. Basically, it basically talks about the update, uh, the additions with the oxygen that we're gonna be talking about, as well as some other things that uh, aren't relevant to this particular uh, tutorial. So, let's get going. As you can see in the bottom right, oxygen in red is none. That's for this environment that we're in. Uh, pick up hand drill. All right, hand drill. Carker tools. Hand drill. Uh, use your hand drill to mine ice with left mouse button and press T to pick up the rocks of ice that fall out. So that's right over here, all that ice. Oxygen generates will produce oxygen from ice, obviously H2O, right? Producing the oxygen out of it. Um, placed in their inventory. Processed oxygen can then be dispersed into sealed interiors with air vent blocks. Right, so this is a sealed interior. Uh, turn on the air vent by using the nearby button panel to proceed. Okay, so first of all, let's come in here and mine in this. Not picking up the ice. Nope, haven't been picking it up. Ice, ice. It's like, how much is it? Inventory full. A little bit piece of ice floating. Cool. Alright, I'll drop that from our... General oxygen information. Within pressurized environments, it is safe to remove your helmet by pressing J. However, for this tutorial, it's best to keep your helmet on. Air vents will light up green when in a sealed interior. Multiple green lights indicate the density of breathable air. A yellow light indicates the area is not airtight. And that yellow light indicates this area is not airtight. Alright, so here's the oxygen generator. It will produce oxygen from ice placed in inventory. You need to mine the ice and place in the generator. It takes a lot of air to fill a large room, 200% per pressurization. Just drop the whole thing in there. There we go. And come over here. Okay, hit the air vent. Oh, I have to toggle it on over here. I can't do that. There we go. Green. All right, so now it's pressing air out. And you can see there's these little air particle effects. That means that it is working, producing the air. And the oxygen oxygen indicator on the bottom right shows low. Good. Now, see how it's going through that stuff real quick. Okay, so we'll do like it said. Up some of these big blocks. Inventory full. Probably don't need to put all of it in there, but hey. That's just real quick demonstration. Inventory full. Yeah. That was easy. That should be plenty. Alright, up to full air. So now I could take off my helmet by pressing J. Helmet off. Oh yeah. Breathing and not dying. Oxygen high. We'll go ahead and leave uh, this on here. 
with my helmet on, it actually takes my suit oxygen, you can see. If I take it off, it no longer drains my suit oxygen. Oxygen vent 100%. 100% for this room will proceed. Oxygen farms are slow to fill rooms but require no ice to make oxygen. Okay, so that's what this stuff is here, oxygen farm. So we can already proceed, the room's filled. But let's come over here real quick and read this. Uh, open the roof and deploy the oxygen farm by pressing 2 to fully expose the farm to sunlight. Powered oxygen farms will continuously generate oxygen when exposed to sunlight. So it's like algae, giant, enormous algae tanks. Exposing the roof. And we should start seeing them have our numbers. Yep, going green right there. Two, so as they, as they work more. Other ones are kicking on. That's a lot of blocks. And they're all connected. So there's a giant piston. They're all connected with conveyors. Wow. Very cool. Doesn't take ice, but it takes a long time. Use the seat to recharge. Yeah, I'm about 80%. Sitting there real quick. And watch that. Oh, the oxygen won't. That's only energy. Uh, vents can be used to depressurize areas and recover air into empty storage. That's cool. You want to pull them back into tanks. This allows for less waste when building airlocks. Stockpile on, stockpile off, depressurize on, depressurize off. Oxygen tanks can be set to stockpile oxygen so you have a backup. Uh, the ones you see here are full. As you can see, the, the blue lights there three out of four filled up so pretty full turn stockpile mode off and sent the vent to pressurize to fill this windowed room with air the little room inside there button two then button four so turn stockpile off you can see now that air vent is on four Uh, four green lights means it's working. Okie dokie. We got an air vent in here providing air. Oxygen generators and oxygen tanks can also be built into small ships to supply directly to the cockpit. Oxygen bottles, so that's what we got here. little oxygen generators inside there. Oxygen bottles can also be refilled from small ship oxygen generators and oxygen tanks. But bottles are too large to fit through small conveyor tubes. If you want to fill bottles from oxygen tanks, you'll need to manually instruct them to fill or tick autofill. So we have an oxygen tank, conveyor line, into an oxygen generator. So this will pump it into the tank. Bottles can be filled by placing them into oxygen generators or tanks. If you carry an oxygen bottle in your inventory, it will automatically replenish your suit oxygen when it runs low. I don't have any, but I'm just telling you about it. Okay. Pick up well tool and steel plate here. Which is I can pick up. Uh, finish welding the armor blocks to create an airtight seal in the room to proceed. The air vent in the roof will turn green when it detects a sealed environment and begin emitting. So right now it is yellow because it's ready to go but it's not sealed in here because we're open. Not all blocks form airtight seals. You may need to conduct your own tests when building personal projects. If you encounter this problem, experiment by building armor blocks around suspected leaks to try to identify the culprit. Armor blocks are for sure going to, uh, to do what's needed. Uh, so we're going to grab the welder. And since only armor box only takes steel plates, you can easily do this. There it should be sealed. And I've already used all the components needed. Uh, 
There we go. And do the same over here. Sweet. There we go. Hmm, maybe I do need to take them all the way up. Is that all of them? Oh, one on the floor. I missed that one. So like that one? There we go. Just giving me a hard time to select it. Now we're green. Alright. Oxygen is now high in here. And the door opens. Cool. And we're done! Alright, thank you guys for watching, and join me next time for the uh, next follow-on episode in this series. See you guys later.